September is my new year. It is the most exciting, the bestest time of the year, in my opinion, to be able to level up. And I know it can be difficult with seasonal depression sometimes trying to creep in or cold and gloomy days, but I have figured out how to use it to your advantage and make autumn winter season your best. And the best way to do that, of course, is to romanticize it, create a new routine which is going to better yourself and your future, and of course, to implement all of the steps that I'm going to share with you guys today on how to become an it girl this autumn. There are so many different definitions of what it means to be an it girl. In my opinion, it's really just all about being a woman who radiates self-acceptance and confidence. She is always trying to build a happy and healthier life for herself. She was always looking for new ways to evolve and grow and meet her full potential. And since September is my new year and I think these last few months is the best time to start thinking about how you want to spend the next year to start laying down those foundations, I am now bringing you into my glam room for this video to share with you all 10 actionable steps you can use this autumn to level up into the best version of yourself. Before we get into it, as always, be sure to check out all of the links below in my descriptions where you can find all of my other socials along with my vlog channel. This is where I will be posting all of my autumn routines, how I'm actually going to be decluttering, prepping, all organizing how I'm going to be setting my 2025 goals so if you guys like everything I'm about to see in this video you can actually watch how I'm going to do it in my real life over on there you can also check out my other YouTube channel which is my podcast which you guys can also find on Spotify and Apple and you can also find my book which is out now worldwide available on Amazon it's called Buy Us Off The Damn Flowers and it is the ultimate guide to mastering self-love and finally before we jump right into the video I want to give a massive thank you to my favorite platform Squarespace for sponsoring this video the reason that Squarespace is my favorite is because it is the all-in-one website platform that is built for entrepreneurs to be able to succeed and stand out online no matter their business expertise. So you could be managing a growing brand or you could literally just be getting started with no knowledge whatsoever on the business world and Squarespace has got you covered. They're about to break it all down to you in easy to follow, actionable steps that will help you grow into the entrepreneur that you have always dreamed of being. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to be able to build a beautiful website and engage in your audience and sell absolutely anything whether it be actual physical products or appointments with your clients or content or time all in one place and on your own terms let's say that you are a social media influencer setting up email marketing and having an email database of your audience is the best way to take ownership of your audience and Squarespace has got you covered with this with their vast array of email marketing templates and all of the blog posts they have teaching you exactly how to use it how to maximize it and get all of the great results from it if you can relate and you're definitely in a space where you just want to get ahead of all of those new year's resolutions that you're already thinking about to set in January, then I highly recommend you guys check out squarespace.com so you can start a free trial. And whenever you're ready to launch your new website, then you can come back to this video and click the link below in my description. It's squarespace.com forward slash tamcore, which will get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let's get right into it. 10 ways to become an it girl this autumn. And step number one is to lay the foundations. Like I mentioned briefly at the start of this video, it girls are always focused on their growth and their evolution into becoming the best version of themselves. And September and autumn time is no different. In fact, it is crunch time. They are looking back on everything they did in summer, everything they've done during the first three quarters of this year, why they achieved certain things, why certain things got left behind. This is a great time to bring out your journal and really just do a full reflection. And this reflection does not just have to involve, these are the goals I'm gonna set now and this is how I'm gonna level up. While that is a very important task for you to do as an it girl it's equally as important to shower yourself in some love care and appreciation by detailing all of the small things that you accomplished you were gonna find so many things that you would have forgotten about otherwise things that are clouding your judgment and making you feel like you're behind or you have such a long way to go when really let's think about where you were in January and how far you've come since I know you were so focused on the girl that you want to be next year and that is honorable I love that for you but also we need to be be able to feel proud of ourselves so that we are confident enough to go on and know that we have everything we need in our arsenal to achieve every single thing we put our mind to. And when it comes to laying down the foundations, the eight girls are not only about planning, but they are all about putting in that action. And this means planning ahead of your week, scheduling in hours where you are thinking, this is on my vision board and it hasn't come to life yet. What can I do to try and get closer to that goal? Is it picking up a book to read more about it? Is it setting up a website? Is it just starting that project? No matter how I feel about it right now. Essentially, this step is all about preparing for your resolutions. You don't need to have them all set out, but you need to have a rough outline of 
what's the kind of woman that I want to be living like this time next year? What does she look like? How does she live? How does she spend her weekends? What goals has she achieved? What problems has she fixed and gotten rid of? If one of them, for example, is your health and your fitness, a really good idea for this step in autumn is to start the 75 hard challenge and start it around mid-October. If you start it in mid-October, you will be completely done by New Year's Eve this year, meaning from the first day in 2025, you are gonna be set. The mindset's gonna be there, the discipline's gonna be there, the strength has already been built. And that's a really good kind of plan to use this autumn. This links into step number two, which is to embody the energy of the woman you want to become. You can start the business. You can put yourself out there. You can go to the networking events. You can read up on everything you want to, but if the confidence isn't there, and if you haven't worked on that self-doubt or removing that imposter syndrome, you are always going to self-sabotage yourself no matter how much work you put in. And see, this is such an important part of becoming an it girl, which I feel like is so overlooked and never mentioned because we always see the aesthetic and the outfits and the way that an it girl would strut through the streets and turn heads, but she had to do a lot of visualization and inner mindset work to be able to get to that point. This isn't about the way that you dress or come across. This is about the way that you perceive yourself, which is so powerful in influencing the way that you feel about yourself every single day and therefore your mood and mental health, but also the perception that everybody else therefore is going to adopt of you because you set it in stone first. I actually started this practice two years ago where I opened up the notes app on my laptop and I wrote out all of these headings and underneath bullet pointed all of the answers. And these headings look like, how does the woman I want to become spend her weekends? What does she invest her money in? What sort of resources does she use to learn? And then some of those answers are gonna look like she is investing her money back into her business, into the stock market, into a gym membership so that she can be her healthier self. Not only is she hanging out with her friends, she's also going to a networking event once a week. Those are just a few examples of the type of questions you need to ask to get really specific on the vision of the woman that you want to become because it is all fun and games thinking I want to be prettier and hotter and cooler and have better energy and level up but what the hell does that actually mean? That sentence right there means something different for absolutely everybody. And you need to be able to build the confidence and the security that you already have your dream life before you've even got it. So when you step into it and when it finally comes to you, you are more ready than ever. Step number three to becoming an egg girl this autumn is to revamp your wardrobe. I had to say it, of course, it's in every it girl autumn guide and it's there for a reason, okay? When you look good, you feel good. And I am a massive believer that the way I present myself and the effort I pour into myself every single morning when I am choosing how I want to look that day is so important to really actively designing my energy for that day. I feel confident regardless, but that confidence reaches new levels when I am dressing in a way that maybe gets me a little bit outside of my comfort zone or when I'm dressing in a way that accentuates my body type so then I can start practicing more body positivity around the way that my body looks. So my main tip for this would truly be to not be afraid of experimenting. I think there's so much pressure on finding your personal style but for me the only way I got there was by trying a bunch of things that didn't work first and what links into this is to finally please 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 cut out following trends from your life. There is no it girl on this planet that follows trends, okay? She simply creates them. Because yes, while following fashion trends might be really fun to fit in, to try out what's new, it is a form of experimentation, but there is somebody or a group of people, let's say it's probably social media influencers out there that are creating certain fashion trends that they feel amazing in. And I love that for them, but that doesn't mean it's going to work the same for you. And all this is going to do is waste so much of your time and so much of your energy repeatedly going through so many different clothing cycles and wondering why nothing quite feels right. And it's all because you expected yourself to feel a certain way from a piece of advice that made somebody else feel amazing, but that is not going to apply to you, girl. And that is why this is the perfect time for self-discovery. When you see someone on social media and you save their outfit or you comment on it or compliment somebody, what is it about that that is drawing your attention? And the second you start understanding what you like and why and actually dressing for the way that you want to dress rather than worrying this is my body type and this is why I should dress for that and this is what should be flattering for somebody with this type of body shape, the second that you are finally going to take control over your life and over your confidence. Step number four to becoming an it girl this autumn is to start mood boarding. And of course, I love using 
Pinterest for this, but you could scrapbook, use a journaling method, vision board, or just do it on Canva or digitally on your laptop. But the reason that this is such an important thing for me to do every single autumn is, like I said before, it's really easy to feel really down and sad with the gray skies and the rainy weather and the cold and not being able to go out as much. And we cannot let those difficult emotions stop us from being our happiest, healthiest, most thriving selves. And so we have to be a little bit more deliberate and intentional in creating that happiness and that gratitude, even though outside might look like the most depressing thing you've ever seen. And Pinterest boards have been saving me with this for years because any single time I wake up and I'm feeling a little bit down or I'm like, oh, I just wish it was sunny or the weather's really getting me down. I look at this collation of pictures, which is being bundled up in a really cozy sweater in a dark cafe, drinking a warm cup of coffee or staying inside on a rainy day, laying under my blanket, watching movies all day long, baking banana bread, baking cookies, doing all of these activities that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise in summer or that just wouldn't be on our agenda otherwise. There is always something to look forward to. There is always something to be grateful for. And there's nothing more classy, graceful and elegant. And most importantly, nothing more of an it girl vibe than always staying grateful and always taking advantage of every single moment, no matter what it looks like. Step number five is to declutter and organize your space. This is something that I'm doing right now as we speak. I plan on taking a bunch of these clothes out and doing a clear out and setting up my Depop just so everything in my wardrobe only contains clothes that I can pick out at any single moment of any single day and know how to build an outfit around it. One it girl tip that I absolutely love and I discovered this maybe like five years ago is this app you can download on your phone. It's called Stylebook. I think it's like only three pounds to download. Honestly, it's so worth it. I used it for the longest time. It is a little bit of time and effort when you first download it. Basically, you need to take a picture of every single piece of jewelry and clothing that you have in your wardrobe, and then you organize it by color and in category. Guys, if you have ever seen the movie Clueless and how Cher like wakes up and like sees everything that's in her wardrobe, this app basically allows you to do that. I cannot tell you the amount of rainy, cold mornings where I didn't want to get out of bed and I would instead stay there open up my phone and just be like, okay, I'm gonna wear this t-shirt and then mm, which skirts do I own? You are never gonna forget the clothes you own. You can literally build an outfit and then just go to your closet and pick it out. It's such an amazing thing of keeping on track with what you own and organizing outfits and just removing a little bit of extra stress out of your life, but also staying organized. It girl tip number six is to prioritize movement. This has been a massive shift in the last few years of my life, but while it has been and while I have been way more consistent with working out, it's really Really easy to fall out of your working out routine or just feel lazy you know it's raining it's cold you don't want to go outside it's easier to just stay inside while it's cozy and this is where the power of varying routines comes into play most importantly varying workouts as soon as I started booking in workout classes rather than needing to go to the gym every single day oh my god it's the easiest way to have something to look forward to all of the time and if you are not able to book in actual workout classes stay in and do a 15 minute hit workout on YouTube free in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere, but you're still prioritizing that movement and doing that act of self-love for yourself. Another thing I do on my varying routines, maybe it's like my luteal phase or I'm just feeling a little bit more tired or I'm just not feeling it. Maybe you're a little bit sick. Go for literally a 20 minute walk in the morning, be in nature, get that fresh air, go and get your favorite pumpkin spice latte and then come straight back. You do not need to do a one hour workout every single day, but what you do need to do is be able to move every single day and that gets so much easier and so much more consistent when you finally lower these harsh expectations of yourself that it's either I go to the gym for an hour or I don't go at all and that's how it's so easy to fall into these cycles of I haven't worked out in a month. We are not doing that anymore and for me what really helped was not only those varying routines but also changing my mindset away from I need to go to the gym to work on my legs and work on my glutes and get this perfect body and this snatched waist to I'm going to the gym to benefit my mental health, to balance my hormones, to be a fully functioning, thriving human being. And that is exactly the way an it girl would think about it. You're not worried about fitting into beauty standards or making your body look a certain way. You are confident in the way that you are because you are great and perfect in the way that you already are. It girl tip number seven is to become a hobbyist. And I say this because it's actually something I'm working on right now. And it's something I have not done in my life so far. So I feel like this is very special and definitely had to make its way into the video. Not 
not gonna lie, even though it's been really sunny this past week in the UK, summer was a weird one for us. Like we actually experienced quite a few gray skies, rainy weather. So I feel like I've literally already dabbled in autumn. There was so many days where seasonal depression was already creeping up on me in August. And I had to start finding new ways to get myself out of it. And one of the ways I did that was to get back into spending time with my hobbies. Guys, if you watch my vlog channel, then you'll know one of the most recent hobbies I've picked up aside from baking, which I have been doing literally every single week so far, is um, astrology and learning how to read my birth chart, other people's birth charts. I'm not doing it to be productive. I'm not doing it to create content out of it or to sell it as like a side hustle. No, I'm doing it simply for the joy of it. And in a world where so many of our just natural passions and things that we draw joy from can become side hustles because of the power of social media, which yes, can be pretty amazing, can also be really dangerous because as somebody whose main hobby for over a decade was video editing and social media, having that become my literal job means that it's no longer a hobby for me anymore. It completely shifts the energy of the way that I approach it. And it's so important for your mental health and your happiness to have something that's just yours and do it just for the sake of your own enjoyment. I cannot think of anything more self-loving than that. Eight girl tip number eight is to challenge yourself. When we are in the last quarter of the year, okay, we are getting ready to say goodbye to this era and to welcome in a brand new year, a brand new time in our life. There is no better time than to just say, this is my era, which basically means we are diving into fear. We are running towards all of the things that terrify us and make us uncomfortable. You know why? Because that is where all of the growth and that is where all of the expansion happens. That is the space in which you become the person you never thought you could be. So for example, if you are somebody who has suffered with social anxiety a lot in the past, or you just struggle to speak to new people, guess what? You're about to spend the last quarter of this year, this entire autumn season by talking to new people, making new friends, putting yourself in new rooms. Maybe you're gonna go on a dating app, you're just gonna go on a few first dates just for the fun of it. You're gonna go to networking events. You're gonna start shooting your shot on Instagram DM. That's literally what I'm doing right now. And I started my social confidence journey four years ago. It's still a process and I'm still staying consistent with it. But during that, and during this autumn season, I have decided to start some new challenges for myself. Basically just habits and new practices that I can implement that means that I can live out a life that will get me a result that I have not experienced before. For example, getting up and doing the thing even when you don't feel like doing it. Once you do that and once you expose yourself to your fears, the sooner that you can essentially feel numb to all of those fears and get rid of them. And you're going to exit this autumn season and start 2025 being a better version of yourself as a result of it because now you have one less thing weighing you down. It girl habit number nine is to treat others how you want to be treated. Another super underrated step of becoming an it girl is we need to be nice, okay? We need to start looking inward. We need to start reflecting on how our actions affect others. There are so many occasions in which we could be feeling triggered and label it as something completely different. Like, well, I just don't like that person or I just don't like that situation or this is what happened and just go along with that. But really the healthiest and most responsible and kindest thing you can do is take a step back and think, this is how I feel about that situation. On the other hand, logically, this is how the other person could be feeling. This could be the truth of the situation and really just evaluate it for what it is rather than running away with a certain set of feelings and writing off a situation which could be completely different or writing of people for reasons when you haven't even fully thought about it. I honestly think this is the most powerful way of self-transformation and of leveling up into the best version of yourself because so much of the time, there can be these little parts of our personalities and old traits that are getting in the way of us forging new and better connections or gaining opportunities because there are all of these little things that we do that we've been doing for so long and don't even realize that are holding us back. And when you decide to be a little bit more conscious and just start questioning, why am I responding? in this way? Why is this bothering me? Why do I not get along with that person? Why can I not do this thing? Why does this scare me? Is where you will finally start finding all of the answers on how to take the next steps on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. And finally, it girl step number 10 is by fostering a closer connection with yourself, by paying attention to how you feel and the thoughts that are coming up as often as you can. 
If there's anything you've learned from this video, I hope it's the fact that being an it girl isn't something that can be taught. It is an energy that one must foster and then exude. You can look good, dress well, have a nice life, but truly an it girl understands it's about everything you radiate from the inside. It's about the life that you feel you have. It's all about the way that you perceive yourself. And the only way to improve all of those factors is by paying attention to all of your feelings, by journaling at the end of every day, by paying attention to the thoughts that are coming up. It's about making sure that who you feel like on the inside aligns to who you are trying to build yourself into on the outside. It's all fun and games trying out a new makeup style or a new outfit, but if we are not proud of the person that we are and the traits that we hold and we are not making an active effort to improve those, so not only are we living in a better way for ourselves, but also for all of the people that we care about in our lives, then what's the point? Because what is inside of you is a trend that will never go out of style. It's something nobody could ever try to copy or replicate or take away from you. It is the one thing that is going to carry so much positive self-perception and confidence within you when you are so secure and so aware of who you are so that no matter what anybody could ever say could take away that meaning or make you doubt that. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please comment down below. Let me know what your favorite step was or what you were going to implement in your life. I'm wishing you guys just the most abundant, amazing autumn season. There will be more autumn videos coming soon, especially on my vlog channel, because I just think it's more important now than ever to really double down on creating our happiness, making sure seasonal depression doesn't get in the way, and just romanticizing this season so that we can live our best lives all year round. I'm wishing you guys the best week. I'll see you guys same time next week on Friday for a brand new video. Until then, please check out all of the links and my socials below in the description. I appreciate you. Bye.